Welcome back to Dark Corner Streaming. Not to be confused with Mario Bava's Black Sunday, which we have also reviewed, Mario Bava's Black Sabbath, made three years later, is an anthology of three horror stories purportedly by well-known authors, introduced by Boris Karloff. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? Some housekeeping first, there are two versions of Black Sabbath, the original Italian and the US dub, which was edited for some content, most noticeably in the episode called The Telephone, and also changed the order of the episodes. As per our remit, we went with the most readily available, which was the US dub on Daily Motion. But it turns out you can also find the Italian original on YouTube, so maybe we should have done that. Although, for the record, I prefer the ending in the US version, and I think the running order. Do you believe in ghosts? Anyway, we open with The Drop of Water. A tense psychological horror showing the influence of Roger Corman's Poe films and the resonant colour of early Hammer. From the start, this is a gorgeous film as well as a scary one. The theft of a ring from a dead medium has haunting consequences for the thief. Initially characterised by dripping water, Bava building an unnerving oral backdrop before events take a more disturbing turn. <coughs> that theme of a woman alone besieged by the supernatural continues in the telephone. This time, it is a crank call that slowly escalates. You'll be dead before dawn. This episode has the hallmarks of an early Giallo film, though again, less so in the US dub, but even shorn of what might have been useful context, it remains an edgy horror with a strong shock ending. No matter where you are, I'll be calling you on the telephone. And now a few words about vampires. The last segment, the Verdilac, is the longest and here the film spills over into more traditional gothic. The presence of star Mark Damon makes it immediately reminiscent of Corman's House of Usher, playing very much the same role here as he did in that film, though in very different circumstances. Now, we only have our father to fear. It is also here that Karloff gets an acting role. <laughs> showing that no matter how old he became, he could always inspire terror. <laughs> Though perhaps a little too drawn out, this is still fabulously creepy. And again, just looks terrific, whether in natural surroundings or playing with the light. I'm always cagey of anthology horrors, but for me at least, this one just works. Whatever order the stories come in, it is insidious and chilling. Though short, the stories are nonetheless gripping. It has atmosphere to spare, and it looks as good as any Italian horror of this era. Which is very good indeed. Thanks for watching. This was apparently the inspiration for the name of the band Black Sabbath. What film are you naming your band after? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs>